Hey everyone, it's Oli here from One Number, and today I'm gonna to talk you through how to update a parameter with buttons. This can be super useful on dashboards as like a nice visual element uh, to bring into your dashboard. And it would look something like this. So, I mean, this is a super simple dashboard. We just got two worksheets. But what we're gonna take a look at is updating our category-based parameter with this little button up here. So as I click on Office Supplies, I'm now seeing uh, an asymmetric drill down for these spark lines, looking at our office supplies ones, just for technology, you know, now I've got my technology subcategories and my top products for technology. Um, it's a really nice effect to add in some extra um, interactivity, especially if you don't want to be limited to Tableau's default way of representing options uh, for filters or parameters or things like that. We could totally do another one of these videos on how to update sets or filters with this same thing. So if you'd like us to do that, let us know in the comments below. But I'm going to talk you through it. I'll walk you through this, this dashboard, how we've set everything up. And then you're welcome to download it. This will be in the description. Um, if you want to follow that to Tableau Public, you can download this. Okay, so let me show you what we've done. So the first step would be to set up a parameter. Now, this is a dimension based parameter. You can do this with uh, measures as well. So like you could set up something to swap between sales and profit and profit ratio, you know, whatever it might be. Um, I've decided to do this with dimensions. And so you can see I base this off the category dimension. Now, my data type is string. I've typed out a list of the um, uh, members of this dimension. Technically, I could just say all values are allowable. That would be fine as well. I don't actually need to specify them in a list, um, but maybe it's habit that I did this. So just letting you know, you can say all, and then you don't have to specify anything here. So that would be the first thing. We set up our parameter, and just so we can see what that looks like, it's really as simple as this, right? Our three little options. Okay, there are a couple of calculated fields that we need to build. So this is the magic sheet, right? This is where it all happens. So let me show you how we've put this together. The first step would be to have access to a button shape. Now, my recommendation is that you check out flat icon. Um, let me see if I can, if I've got this open, yeah, I do. So flat icon is a great website. Uh, if you create an account, you've got access to a whole bunch of really cool interface icons. You could download any of these. Uh, to add them into your into your dashboard to function as a button. Um, some of these are going to work better than others. You, I've wanted something where I can add a little bit of text in there. So some of these uh, filled in buttons seem to work a little bit better for me, but feel free to choose whatever works for you. Okay, so first things first, we would build something like this. Um, we have a couple of calculated fields. Now, the first thing is a calculated field to return each of the um, options of my parameter. So for instance, I've got this, uh, these three little fields that literally just say furniture. Then there's another one for office supplies. Let's edit this one. There's another one for technology. Those are my three, three options. And I've made a calculated field for each of those because I want them to be displayed like this and just select you know, one of those. There are probably a lot of ways of doing this, and I'm admitting that up front, but this is the way that that has worked well for me. Okay, second step would be, uh, you know, with these, okay, so let's, let's actually build this out. We'll do it, we'll do it step by step like this. So once you've got this, you can change your mark type to shape, and on the column shelf, you can just type in one, you just double click and press one, and you just do that for as many options as you have and then drop now with our three marks cards i'm going to navigate to the first one and i'll just put uh you know category onto furniture like this and then oops then let's do the next one and the last one uh technology uh oops label okay now if i go to my all marks card i can click on shape go to more shapes, and then I sh should have a bunch of saved shapes in here. And this is the one that I selected. Now, I think we've done a video on how to update your, your saved shapes. Uh, but basically what we do is we'd navigate to flat icon, download the icon that I want, and save it to my Tableau repository, and then shapes. 
and you'll notice all these folders will be in there with a whole bunch of shapes. I just created a new folder called My Saved Shapes. You come back here and reload your shapes and now you've got a whole bunch of these shapes to select. So this is what I want. I want this little guy that we downloaded. And now you can see if you click, if you update the shape for all, they all have our tiny little pill <laughs> in there, which is great. Okay, so maybe let's beef this up a little bit. Let's do this. Uh, let's change our fit to entire view. And now let's put our text in the middle of those boxes. So let's click on label. The alignment is going to be in the middle and in the middle. Now we can't see it just because the text is black. So if you just click on text and update that, it'll look something like this. We can play around with the actual formatting in a little bit. I guess finally to make this look somewhat okay, let's just get rid of all our all our lines and grid lines and row dividers and stuff. So let's do that. Um, I think we've got some columns that we need to get rid of. Uh, definitely some column zero lines and grid lines. Okay. Do we have a row axis tick? Yeah. And now we can just right click at the bottom here and uncheck show header. So we've got a very clean sheet with our categories. Okay. Um, then this is set up nicely, but what's pretty cool is that if you click on one of these buttons, you want it to change color to indicate this is the one that's selected, right? So in order to do that, you kind of need to create these fields that say, um, my category parameter equals this value, right? Then that's going to give us that true or false. So let's jump back here and I'll show you what we've set up. So we're going to have three calculated fields that look exactly like this, that look like, hey, our category selection parameter equals, and then we need one of these options. So technology, then we do another one for office supplies, and then we do another one for furniture. Okay, so you got it, same as the text. And then we'll come back to our parameter button sheet, and for each of these, um, you know, making sure that we're following the relevant names. So for the furniture one, we need to put our uh, category furniture onto color. And then we'll go to the next one, which is office supplies and put this one on color. And then the last one will be technology and put this one on color. Okay. Now I'm at an advantage here because I've already done the hard work of getting us um, the colors to be, to get the colors to be correct. What you'll probably notice, so let's show this parameter. What you'll probably notice is that as you shift through, um, as you shift through the different options of the parameter, the colors are gonna change from true, false, true, false, true, false. So you need to make sure that you select each option of your parameter and edit the colors accordingly because you're gonna need to set the true and false for each of these. You won't be able to just set true and false overall. Does that make sense? So every time uh, we, when we select furniture, we need a color for true. And then when we select office supplies, we need to go back to the furniture one and change the color for false. And we need to repeat that all the way through. So you just do that three times, double click, choose the color that you want. And then, so here's how I do it, right? So for the first one, we click on that. Then let's go back. What color do I want when furniture is true? Let's go through here and do that. Okay. Uh, and now we just set up these guys like this. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Now let's do office supplies. So now you see the office supplies color for true is incorrect. So let's set that up and then we'll need to do technology and let's make sure this one's correct. Nice. Okay. So that looks good. Um, now, how do you actually get this working? Good question. So here we've got our, our dashboard. Now, how you actually work this parameter in is totally up to you. So I just did an asymmetric drill down here uh, with some spark lines and I did a top 10 products um, by category situation. You could work this out however you like the core of the functionality is gonna be exactly the same. So what you would need to do is drag in your worksheets and, and I'm sure you'll make this look much prettier than my little dashboard here. But if you go to dashboard and actions, uh, I'm gonna remove these guys and we'll set it up. 
from scratch. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do for updating my parameter is I'm gonna add an action here and I'm gonna say change parameter. And I'm just gonna call this like update technology or something. We'll start, you've got to run one action per value. So we're gonna say, okay, when I click on the category parameter, so when I click on the category parameter, you're gonna update the category selection. That's the parameter that we created initially. The source field is gonna be technology. So I just wanna make sure that that corresponds to you know, all the names so I can find this easily. Clearing the selection can keep the current value. That's fine. If you wanted to reset the value uh, to you know, whatever it might be, to all or whatever, you could work that out as well, but we'll keep the current value. So we'll say, okay. And then really, we're just gonna update this to be, uh, or repeat it for all the others. So we're gonna say select, uncheck, uncheck, target parameter, the source field for this is office supplies. And then let's do one more, change this parameter, update furniture, and here we go. So select target parameter and the source field is gonna be, oh, not technology, furniture. Okay, so now we've got our three actions, technology, office supplies, furniture, corresponds to the options that we have over here. We're gonna click okay. And now that is updating nicely. Very cool. So this is a super powerful tool. There are so many ways of doing it. Like I said, you can hook this up to dimensions or measures. You could do the same thing for sets. You could do the same thing for filters. Um, but as long as you've got a value in the button that Tableau can pull to update whatever element you're trying to update, filters, parameters, or sets, this can work. It's fantastic. So you don't have to look at those dashboards on Tableau Public anymore and think, oh no, how am I supposed to do this? Um, we'd love to help you if you need any extra help. Uh, you're welcome to book an office hour with us. Uh, we try and make sure that we can solve your problems within like 24 to 48 hours. We can hop on a call and uh, hopefully solve, solve whatever problems you have. So th that link is down below as well. But you know, if you've got some shorter questions, you can pop them in the chat and we'll get back to you soon. Okay, if you'd like an updated video on how to do this for sets or for filters or whatever, feel free to let us know as well. We love your suggestions and I will see you soon. Fantastic.